Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to discuss the big O notation, which is perhaps one of the most important concepts that you will learn. They are very common in interview questions, so it is a good idea to get a good grasp on how it works. Now, let's start with the basics. What is big O notation? Big O notation is simply a special notation that tells you how fast the algorithm is. Well, why do we care? Well, it is nice to understand how fast or slow other people's algorithms are. In this video, I'll be explaining what Big O notation is and give you a list of the most common running times for algorithms using it. Big O notation tells you how fast an algorithm is. For example, you have a list of size n. Using simple search will take n operations since we need to check each element. So the runtime will be O of n. You might be wondering, well, where are the seconds? The answer is that there is none. Big O notation doesn't tell you the speed of algorithms in seconds but instead, it lets you compare the number of operations. It tells you how fast the algorithm grows as the input size gets larger and larger. Here is another example. Binary search takes log n operations to check a list of size n. What's the running time in big O notation? Well, it is simply of log n. In general, Big O notation is O of the number of operations. It is called Big O notation because you put a big O in front of the number of operations. It sounds really silly, but it's absolutely true. Now, it is important to understand that the Big O notation establishes a worst case runtime. So suppose you are looking for a person in your contacts. You know that using simple search will take of n time to run, which means in the worst case, you have to look through everyone in your contacts. Now, let's say you're looking for your friend Adam. He is the first entry in your contacts, so you don't have to look at every entry since you found it on your first try. Well, then the question becomes, does this take of n time or of one time? The answer is, it still took O of n time because the big O notation is about the worst case scenario. It is reassuring because you know that simple search will never be slower than O of n. Additional note, it is also important to consider the average case runtime, which I will be discussing in a future video. But for now, just forget about it. Now, let's go over some big O runtimes that are very common. Here are five big O runtimes that you'll encounter a lot, sorted from fastest to slowest. First is O of log n, also known as log time. A good example is binary search, which we discussed in the previous video. Next, we have O of n, also known as linear time. A good example of this is the simple search. Third is O of n times log n. An example of this is a very fast sorting algorithm like quicksort, which we will be discussing in my future videos as well. Fourth is O of n squared. An example of this is a slow sorting algorithm like selection sort, which will be coming up soon. Lastly, we have O of n factorial, which is a really slow algorithm. A good example of this is the traveling salesperson algorithm. Now, let's see a visual representation of the runtimes. As you can see, it is very important to focus on how the algorithm's speed grows as the number of elements gets larger. Now, let's move to the main takeaways from these videos. First, algorithm speed isn't measured in seconds, 
but and growth of the number of operations. Second, we talked about how quickly the runtime of an algorithm increases as the size of the input increases. Third, runtime of algorithms is expressed in big O notation. Lastly, O of log n is faster than O of n, but gets a whole lot faster as the list of items you are searching grows. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button. See you next time.